Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. Today I'm going to show you one of my sexy salads that I like to put together. It is the strawberry and zucchini salad. This is actually a really cool salad that I made earlier in the summer, but I wanted to bring it to you guys to show you what I put in my salads. So if you are excited to see this, please do not forget to go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification. Let's get started. First, you're going to need a pretty sizable bowl. And I'm gonna use some spinach and some extra spinach that I had, as well as tomatoes, strawberries, and of course, zucchinis. Green olives, perfect for salads, my complete seasoning, Italian dressing. And that's pretty much everything that goes in the salad. This is pretty much an overview, so you can see all of the ingredients here. The salad, the, excuse me, the strawberries are kinda of hiding in the back there, but everything is all there. Um, as you can see, this makes for a really, really awesome salad. So let's go ahead and start putting everything together. First, I like to wash everything really, really well. So you'll see me here pretty much working it out with that faucet, just making sure that all of my fruits and my veggies are washed a lot. You know, um, I don't play when it comes to cleaning all of my stuff. And it's not just vegetables or fruits or anything like that, but it's also meats, uh, just because it's important to make sure your stuff is clean before you prepare it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna compile our salad. So here you see me getting the big bowl together. Um, I have a big bowl that I like to use because I'm doing like a salad prep. So I like to call this like my salad pool. Um, and the salad pool is basically when you make a really huge salad that you can pull on for the week, right? So that way I don't have to like struggle with making a salad every single night for dinner. It's just like, it's all there, everything is compiled. Um, I don't put any of the dressing on um, until I actually make my bowl every single night just because I don't want the uh, spinach to be wilted or anything. But I just put the Italian dressing up here just really for the sake of the video so you guys can see what I use. And I do go back and forth between the Italian dressing and sometimes balsamic vinaigrette uh, to keep away from the more fatty um, dressings. So here I am cutting up my zucchini. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I cut it up here. That way I can have uh, smaller slices. And these are sort of like slices that are also cut in half because I just like to have smaller bite-sized pieces whenever I'm making my salads or any meal for that matter. I don't want anything that's like too large. I like everything. I could just put everything on one fork and try to get it in one mouthful if I can. If you saw any of my previous meal prep videos, recipe videos, I kind of go into that a little bit because I like smaller pieces. It's just, it, I'm kind of weird. But it's just something that I that's within me that I just I have to have. So now that I've cut this up, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my salad, and um, I'm gonna use all of the zucchini, right? Because this is gonna be a nice hefty salad. But this is for my husband and I, and since I've already shown you guys how I cut it up in the first round, I'm just gonna go ahead and speed through this process because it's no sense in slowing down now, right? So this is just basically a run through of what I just did in the uh, with the first half of the zucchini. So after I slice this up, I'm gonna do the exact same thing and I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in our salad, beef our salad up a little bit. For those of you who love zucchini, this will be a really great recipe for you to try. And these ingredients, I mean, are available anywhere. So this isn't anything that's like too difficult for anybody to put together. And that's what I can really appreciate. And that's what I love about um, just doing quick and simple recipes, quick meal preps. It's nothing that you have to go to like specialty stores for or anything like that. You can go to Walmart, you can go to Publix, you can go to wherever your, whatever your local grocery store is and you can pick these items up. Um, like I said, this is just a salad with a little extra twist to it. And uh, as you can see here, nothing too out of the ordinary. Just some strawberries, uh, excuse me, some tomatoes, some spinach, zucchini, and we will add our strawberries later. Now keep in mind, if you're not a fan of fruit, you do not have to put fruit in your salad, obviously. Um, but this is just a salad that I tried before, so this is not my first time making it. Um, and it actually came together very well. Even with the strawberries, um, it came out really lovely. For me personally, I'm the type of person that I am a sweet and salty type of girl. So this worked out for me greatly. And then just the extra pow with the complete seasoning and the tang from the Italian dressing really made this salad pop. So if you wanna try something that is different, you wanna add like a little bit more variety to your salad, I suggest and encourage that you, you do try the salad out for yourself and then tell me what you think about it. Um, if you do get an opportunity to try the salad, please come back to my channel, come back to this video, comment and let me know. 
what you thought about it. You can also send me a DM on uh, Instagram. My handle is at Rose J Johnson. That's going to be two J's within that handle. Um, and feel free to tell me what you think about the recipe. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, what you would add to it, what you would take away from it. I would be so interested in hearing what you guys thought about this recipe. Um, I'm a little bit of a dork, but I was really excited to actually show you guys this recipe, particularly because I feel like this is the time of year to just really try something different and refreshing. And I mean, what better way than to have a sexy salad, right? So I'm putting in, uh, I just put in those strawberries and now I'm putting in some olives. Uh, my husband is not a huge fan of olives, so I had to actually pick them out when I made his plate. <laughs> um, but I, for me, I love olives. Uh, personally, my mom, when I was a little girl, my mom used to put olives in the salad all the time. And I felt like it was just so, um, it just really made the salad pop even more. She used to put a lot of olives in it. And when I was younger, I didn't really care for the olives. But now that I'm older, I feel like I have a more refined palate. So now I can actually add them to my salads for just sort of that extra pizzazz, just sort of that little surprise pop that I wasn't really expecting. But of course, you do not have to add this to your salad. But this is just something that I've added that I really like how it came together with the taste, the sweetness of the strawberries and the tanginess of the dressing and the saltiness of everything else. So basically, after I did a quick mix in the bowl, I decided to transfer everything over to the container because the container is just a lot better in terms of like mixing everything and just making sure everything comes together. And that's pretty much it. Once I transfer it over to the bowl, we are good to go. You can saran wrap this, put it in the fridge and just pull on it throughout the week. So that's it, you guys. That is the strawberry and zucchini salad, my sexy summer salad I wanted to share with you guys. If you found any value at all in this video, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Do not forget to like this video, leave a comment, and share it out for anybody else that might be interested in making a sexy salad. Um, you guys also do not forget to follow me on Instagram at Rose J. Johnson. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. You guys take care.